Hello and welcome to the third class of this course which is BE200. This course is related to marketing management. Okay, uh, today uh, we will discuss the marketing environment. As you can see in the presentation, in the slide, that we have the following outlines. This class will be separated into three parts. The first part will be related to the company's microenvironment, and then the second part will be related to the company's macroenvironment, and finally the last part will be related to responding to the marketing environment. So that today we will discuss the company's microenvironment, and next week we will discuss the company's macro environment and macro environment consists of demographic environment, economic, natural, te technological, political and cultural environments. And the last part will be related to responding to my marketing environment. What's the marketing environment? Marketing environment is all the factors and the forces that affect the marketing of products and services. When we talk about marketing environment, we can imagine that in any company, the marketing department in this company is the main entity inside the company that's responsible for studying and analyzing marketing environment. So the marketing department must study, for example, the micro factors or micro environment of the company and also the department of marketing inside the company must also analyze and study the macro environment in order to have a full idea about the forces that affect achieving objectives of the company. So we have two types of environments. We have what we call it the micro environment and the micro environment is the environment that is near the company and this environment consists of like the customers, the suppliers, marketing intermediaries, competitors and public. So those are the factors that affect the company in the first place because the company is working or operating in an environment surrounded by those factors. Any company has a lot of suppliers, uh, a lot of uh, competitors uh, and also a lot of customers. That means the company needs to analyze those factors in order to be able to provide, for example, the customers by the best or the required goods and services in order to get their loyalty, in order to uh, achieve uh, the goals of, for example, market expansion or profit increase. Whereas the macro environment related to the factors that are in a wider range around the company. For example, if we talk about the political situation, we are talking about macro environment. If we are, for example, talking about the technological environment or te technological factors or economical factors, those are all considered as the macro environment factors. So we will discuss those factors in the next lecture, inshallah. As you can see in the graph, that micro environment consists of the following factors. First of all, the company, and the company means all the department inside the company. As we said before that, 
the marketing department must study the environment for both micro and macro. So when we talk about the micro environment, we are talking about first of all the company, the departments, the people inside this company. Those are the major part in the micro environment. The marketing department should study, for example, the relationships between the uh, different departments in, inside the organization. Like, for example, what's the relationship between the finance department and marketing department and the relationship between the uh, human resource and finance or marketing and so on. So these relationships are very important factors that influence also the uh, objectives of the company. So these are the different aspects of the company, which is the top management, finance, research and development, purchasing department, operations and accounting. Those departments affect the strategy of the company. That means the marketing department must analyze those departments in order to get a, a basic idea about the uh, company and whether the company can achieve its goal or not. Second is the suppliers and the suppliers are those entities or other companies that are responsible to supply the company with, with the, uh, for example, raw materials or spare parts or sometimes if the company is in retailing or uh, wholesaling that means the supplier is the manufacturer. On the other hand, if the company is responsible for manufacturing and producing some products and services, the suppliers are those companies that provide the, this manufacturer with the spare parts, for example, and raw materials. And those entities are very important in business because if the company has good relationships with those suppliers, then this relationship will enhance the operations inside the, the company and also will uh, help in achieving the company's uh, objectives and goals. And also the marketing intermediaries are very important in the micro environment because the standard view of, in the business is that one company cannot cover all the market. That means the company needs another uh, smaller companies or another distributors to distribute goods to the other uh, segments or to the other part of the uh, market. Those intermediaries can be classified as resellers, physical distribution firms, marketing service agencies, financial intermediaries. Resellers are those companies that are responsible to distribute the products to the other segments in the market. And the most obvious two, part, two types of resellers are the wholesalers and retailers. The wholesalers are those companies that get huge quantities from the manufacturers and distribute it or sell it to retailers or to other customers. Whereas the retailers are those companies that have direct contact with the end customers. That means the retailers are those companies that get huge quantities of products from either wholesalers or manufacturers and try to separate those huge quantities into smaller quantities and then sell it again to the final or the end customers. So those two types of uh, companies, we call them resell resellers. And also the physical distribution companies are those companies who, who are responsible to move the products from one place to another place. That means they are transportation companies, 
sometimes and sometimes the company itself has distribution department and this department can do the activities of physical distribution but if, if those companies are separate companies then we can we can consider phys physical distribution companies we consider them as one of the micro environment factors also the marketing services agencies like for example the advertising agencies like for example marketing or market research companies we can consider those agencies as micro environment factors because the best relationship we do with those marketing agencies then the company can achieve uh, its goals and objectives finally the financial intermediaries and the financial intermediaries like for example the banks or financial companies that uh, provide financial services if a company needs to expand its operation then this company needs to finance its operations and finance this expansion then the company will try to find out the best financial services companies in the market and try to uh, make agreement with them to finance their operations the customers the customers are the major part of the marketing micro environment because as you know that the objective of any company is to provide customers with the best value and make good relationships with those customers that means we need to analyze the customers here we can distinguish between five types of customers the first type is those customers that buy our products individually that means those are the huge or the large type of the customers the other type which is related to the business customers and the business customers are those other companies that buy our products and services for their needs or for selling those products and services to end customers government markets and this type of customers related to the government agencies who buy our products and services and you know that the governments usually buy huge quantities so that we need to take special care for those customers in order to get benefit of doing the relationship with those customers finally the international markets and here if the company has international centers or international branches then we say that analyzing international customers is a must who are the international customers some of the international customers are for example the other governments and also the other individual customers in the other countries the competitors also can be considered as important factors in the micro environment and the competitors are those companies that provide the same products and services that the company provide we need to analyze those competitors in order to find out their competitive advantage and try to enhance our operations to be sometimes better than them or sometimes near to those competitors especially if we are providing a product that is normal in the market and several competitors are providing the same product that means we need to analyze the competitors to in order to differentiate our product from the competitors products finally the public and the public means the groups of people who in a way or another affecting the company like for example the financial publics and the financial publics are the banks other banks and uh, financial institutions 
that affect uh, our view in the market or the media publics and media publics are the for example the television channels or radio channels that in sometimes we need them as partners in our advertising campaigns or in our promotional campaigns the government publics are all the government agencies or departments and you know that the, the government publics or the media publics or financial publics are all we can consider them as potential customers to our products and services that means we need to analyze those uh, potential customers in order to know exactly what are their needs and requirements from the products and services so that we try to modify our products and services to be to be good for them citizen action are those publics that are a group of people who have influence on the other people so this is the first part of the of the course and i hope next week we will continue discussing the macro environment thank you very much